President Trump has made protecting U.S. national security interests, especially when it comes to China, a priority of his administration. Welcome now someone who is an expert in this area. He's Louis Free. He served as the director of the FBI under President Clinton, and he's the founder of Free Group International for Solutions, which recently merged into Alex Partners, making him managing director and vice chairman. We welcome him now to Bloomberg. So Judge Free, Director Free, thank you so much, and congratulations on your deal. Let's start with Alex Partners. Explain to us exactly what this deal is and how it changes your life. Yeah, well, thanks, David, very much. So, um, you know, our group uh, was fairly small, about 24 people specializing mostly in complex investigations, doing a lot of compliance work for big global companies uh, like Walmart. Uh, we've represented uh, Daimler, Ericsson. We've done a lot of work in the, uh, in the cybersecurity space as of late. Uh, we also do a lot of problem solving. So, one of the things we did was uh, really oversee the settlement uh, between uh, BP Oil and the five attorney generals, the Department of Justice, the EPA, uh, which was an $18.5 billion settlement. So I think probably for a long time punching above our weight, the, uh, the merger with, uh, with Alex Partners is a, a tremendous opportunity for everybody. Uh, there, as you know, a 2,500-person uh, uh, enterprise. They have 14 offices overseas. Uh, we've had a couple of uh, overseas offices and a lot of foreign engagements. So the platform is very great for us. Uh, we'll enhance both their compliance and their investigations and all the services they bring, not just restructuring and business improvement, but uh, financial forensics will just give a, a great set of uh, services for our clients. So, Louis, for an awful lot of us, uh, the coronavirus pandemic has changed our lives. Has it changed what you do, your, your professional life? I mean, do you have a lot of retention to handle things, including compliance, investigations, coming out of the pandemic? Yeah, so uh, it's a good question, David. Actually, uh, you know, we've been busier in the last uh, several months uh, than before. And I know Alex Partners, uh, much busier, particularly in the in the restructuring area, and that's because the um, uh, the coronavirus, very unfortunately, besides all the human suffering that it's caused, has impacted uh, large companies and small businesses, uh, creating a lot of um, uh, fraud activity, uh, requiring internal controls to be uh, strengthened, and of course uh, the compliance. Uh, that companies use uh, and big companies as well as small companies use gets very uh, stress test uh, during a uh, economic uh, downturn as we're having now. So this all raises uh, the risks that uh, we address both uh, previously in the free group and now uh, at Alex Partners. So, so, Louis, what I mentioned in the introduction uh, the issues around China because we know about them right now specifically because of TikTok, sort of cybersecurity issues. To what extent do your clients, corporate clients, do they have to really take a look at, for example, data and access of the Chinese government or Chinese companies to data? How much of your business is caught up with that and how do you protect data? Well, I mean, a lot of what we do in terms of advising uh, boards and uh, CEOs, companies, particularly global uh, operating companies about securing and protecting data is, is really a universal prescription. I don't think it's particularly uh, specific anymore to, uh, to the PRC or to the Russian Federation or many, many other countries. Um, if you remember when the Economic Espionage Act was passed, I was uh, in the Department of Justice then, 1996. The, uh, you know, the intent of that statute, uh, which is really an underutilized statute, unlike the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, uh, there's been much less uh, activity in terms of enforcement. But the idea of the act was to protect companies, not just American companies, but companies to make sure that they could preserve uh, trade secrets, which prior to that act were only protected under state statutes. So our advice to clients uh, you know, is not uh, PRC uh, China specific. It really has to do with, uh, you know, the firewalls and the proactive things and particularly the training and awareness of uh, people inside the wire about securing and protecting data. Uh, clearly, uh, both from Europe and other places around the world, the 
privacy requirements, the data restrictions have become much more enhanced. But our, our, our advice is generally pretty general and pretty prescriptive to everyone. Okay, thank you so much to former FBI Director Louis Free. We're going to be able to talk more with Director Free coming up in the second hour of Balance of Power about his fascinating work.